my ass! Welcome! Well, I'm really excited by this Funko Pop unboxing today because I've got two really cool Pop Rocks figures to show you. This is an order from Galactic Toys and Collectibles over in the United States of America. Where are they? Illinois somewhere, possibly. I can't remember. I did see where the shipment originated from on tracking illinois rings a bell but i might be wrong anyway i'm super happy with this order because one of these pops is a pop rocks figure it's vaulted and i've got it for a really good price from galactic toys i never expected that would find it it wasn't cheap cheap but it was the cheapest i've seen it by a long stretch and the other Pop Rocks in here, I don't know if it's vaulted because it doesn't feel like it's been out that long, but that one was pretty cheap as it's only a common $8.99 or something like that. But it's one that I've not really seen around anywhere up until now, so uh, let's get this open and I can show you. So, the really exciting one that kind of completes, well it does complete really, a little set of three. That was $28.99. The packaging from Galactic Toys is good. Plenty of bubble wrap there. Oh yes, I'm so happy. Which one shall I show you first? I'll show you the cheaper one first, I think. And um, I wasn't desperate for this. I saw it on the site, $8.99, so that plus the $29 for the other pop and um, I think it was something like 12 or 13 dollars in postage not a bad price all in um, especially once converted to pounds but this one is number 99 in the Pop Rocks line and it's Billy Idol and I've just not seen this anywhere now before anyone says oh I've seen it on Pop in a Box I don't look on Pop in a Box I haven't done in months and months because I refuse to use the Hook Group and any associated website but I won't get into that again now. But Billy Idol, obviously um, he started out in the punk rock scene in London, England in the late 70s. He was the lead singer of Generation X. Then he went on to be quite a big solo star in the 1980s. Really caught on in America. He was arguably one of the biggest British exports in the music industry to America in the 1980s going into the 1990s. You don't see so much of him now, but I think he's still a recording artist, mainly living and working in the Los Angeles area. And um, I just thought, you know, I'm not a massive Billy Idol fan, but this was a nice enough pop for me, and one that's nostalgic enough, because I remember hearing Billy Idol a lot on the radio in the 80s when I was a kid, and, you know, seeing him on Top of the Pops back in the day as well. A nice photo of him on the back there. As I say, box in excellent condition, as I expected it would be. I don't think this is a particularly valuable pop. $8.99 from Galactic Toys is a bargain. About as cheap as you can get a brand new common from most places. Here he is, Billy Idol. I mean, he looks unmistakable. That bleach blonde spiky hair that's kind of quiffed a bit at the front. It's got some real sort of spiky texture to this. It does really feel like spikes are jabbing into your fingers. Not in a painful way, just it's that kind of feeling. It's got a big hooped earring there that's got a cross dangling from it. That was a bit of a trademark from him. As is the case with a few of these Pop Rocks figures, he's actually got his mouth open there. It does work for Billy Idol, because it kind of his default pose was a bit of a sort of open mouth kind of sneer really, weren't it? Maybe a bit of a hangover from his punk days, really. He's got a microphone in his left hand. He's wearing a glove in his left hand as well. No shirt on, but he's got a couple of cross chains or necklaces there. Leather studded jacket. Silver belt. Studded, maybe leather trousers, possibly. And black boots. Detail-wise, this is a really good pop. This is one of the best pop rock figures I've seen so far. They've just nailed it for Billy Idol. 
How many people who actually want a Billy Idol pop in 2021? I don't know. Well, I certainly do. Maybe it's not a massive seller and that's why he's a little bit difficult to come by. Under $10 for this. Fantastic. I'm really made up with Billy Idol here. He will be a proud addition to the Pop Rocks collection. A little bit impulsive, but you see a cool figure in a line that you collect a lot in for that price, you might as well pick it up before it's too late. And this wasn't even the pop that I was massively excited about. That's the next one, because it completes a set. And I'm talking about number 52 for Guns N' Roses, it's Duff McKagan. Oh, I'm so happy to get this at the price that I got it. 28.99, I think it was, the dollars again. So that'll convert to, what, I don't know, it'll be between 22 to 25 pounds. Which, for something that used to be a common, yeah, that's a little bit expensive. But, this guy's rare. It's quite valuable on the Funko app, or the PPG guide, whatever you'd call it. And um, the only other place I kept seeing him, and it was a second-hand one as well, that um, was, I think, graded at 6 or 7 out of 10, was at 7 bucks a pop. I think they were asking nearly $60 for him. I didn't pull the trigger on it there, and I'm glad I didn't, because I would have felt I'd really overpaid. But um, to get him for brand new as well, obviously this is mint condition box, not a pre-owned pop. It wouldn't have mattered if it was, but um, you don't get pre-owned pops at Galactic Toys, I don't think. But better than half price from what I'd seen him at 7 bucks a pop here. And as I said before, the postage from Galactic Toys here to the UK is pretty reasonable, really. And there's no customs or anything. I've not had to pay any customs charges on any of my orders yet. And I've used Galactic Toys a few times now. I do recommend that UK collectors check out Galactic Toys. Because while the range isn't exactly world class like say it would be at pop figures they do have some interesting stuff and the prices i think are really good and if you're not paying too much in postage because you can go to other american funko selling websites and what you think's a good deal is okay right up until it says right now enter your address for postage and then they're charging something absolutely ridiculous like 50 dollars plus to ship one cheapo pop to you yeah Duff McKagan, let's get him out. Um, oh, before I do, the line is complete because I've got Axl Rose and Slash a couple of months or so back, was it, from EMP. There's a bit of a restock, I think a reissue of Slash and Axl, certainly. But I've completed the Guns N' Roses line today, so I'm very happy about that, as I thought I'd just be having Slash and Axl and no Duff for a long time. So here is Duff McKagan. Got these really cool 80s style sunglasses on. Yeah, he's got kind of a slightly darkish blonde hair there. Long, but not sort of overly long. So he's kind of just about avoiding the hair metal stereotypes that I think Guns N' Roses were somewhat associated with in their uh, heyday. He's wearing a black tank top. He's got a guitar. Pops with guitars, pops with glasses. Duff McKagan ticks both boxes there. Similar to Billy Idol, he's got a cross chain round his neck. You can see some of his tattoos there. I'm sure the detail on the tattoos on his arms is really good, but with my eyesight, coupled with the ring light dazzling me, I'm not really going to be able to say for certain. I'll know that I'll have a closer look at this later on. Black trousers and um, black trainers possibly, or maybe Converse style shoes with white soles. Absolutely marvellous. I'm dead happy with this order today. As I say, I love using Galactic Toys when I can. I don't use them that often, but every now and again it's well worth checking out their website to see what they've got in stock. And I'm so glad that I did it and I was able to pick up Duff McKagan for under $30 given that his price is about double that and as a second hand pop as well and this was brand new so brilliant stuff uh, love both of these Duff probably is still my favourite out of the two today simply because I've been really wanting this for at least a couple of months now but Billy Idol I think a really nicely detailed pop this two excellent pop rocks of two 1980s and 90s rock stars Thank you all for watching, hope you enjoyed this unboxing, and special thanks go, as they always do, 
to my spanking gorgeous subscribers and my beautiful sexy patrons. Yes, I said sexy. Please see my usual Funko affiliate links, my Patreon link, my Facebook group link, and a link to get some money off contents insurance. All that good stuff down in the description text box. If you don't look in the description text box, how are you gonna avail of discounts and great stuff? It's a no-brainer. It works out for you, it works out for me. Marvellous. I'm gonna go now. I'm gonna put Billy Idol into a pop protector and I've recently ordered from ATV, All Things Vinyl, another extra large protector to fit three single pops in so I can put Slash, Axl Rose and Duff McKagan all together in the one protector and put them and Billy Idol here in my Pop Rocks display. And I do hope that all of you will join me again next time for my next Funko Pop unboxing. Cheers, everyone. See ya! Hey! Turn out shy to get into <laughs> Walter Sex Fiend I'm in the hotel lobby Masturbating in the magazine <laughs>